This video will give a high-level overview of the new product features available in CapServer EX version 512. In this release, a serial and an Ethernet driver were added to support the Allen Bradley Micro 800 family of PLCs. There were also several enhancements made to existing functionality, including a data logger plugin enhancement that now accepts a global transaction ID. This allows the grouping of related data entries in a database, which allows users to mark data sets such as those I've identified in a batch process. DNP driver enhancements and fixes include time zone support for legacy devices and continuous event playback during loss of communication. Siemens S7 driver enhancements include bit array functionality. Now let's move on to the most significant updates to CapServer EX in version 512, enhancements to the built-in user manager and the new security policies plugin. These new features were in response to customer requests for enhanced security options and provide a security model for cloud and mobile technology, helping the automation industry take a critical step towards securing sensitive communication, these enhancements leverage the same encryption standards as e-commerce. Enhancements to the built-in user manager build upon Kepler's support of the OPC UA specification and leverage user authentication in OPC UA. Now with version 512, an OPC UA username and password can be used to restrict server access on a per user basis. For example, if an administrator accesses the server via OPC UA, they would be able to read, write, and browse everything within the server. Compare that to OPC UA user Joe Engineer, who has read-only access to a single device. A real-world application scenario for this may be an energy company has multiple systems with varying data points, like valve, pump, and flow data. These are being aggregated in a single server, either on-site or on an enterprise level. The energy company also has different partners and customers that want access and control of this data, including field engineers, measurement and analysis personnel, and business accounting reps. Certainly, the energy company would not want to provide unrestricted access to each partner. Now, with CapServer EX version 512, the field engineer is assigned pump and valve control, the measurement personnel has access to flow data, and the business accounting reps have read-only access. When each stakeholder has a unique user ID, restricting client access is possible. This scenario is easy to configure in the server's user manager, which is accessed through the administration settings menu. Simply create user groups appropriate for the users that will be accessing server data. Note that I have already created two users groups for field engineers and measurement personnel. Now I can easily add a new user group for business reps and give them read-only access to the server by denying write privileges. The server administrator can apply global permissions to control data access for all anonymous clients like OPC DA and native interfaces. For example, you may want to restrict everyone to read-only access, as shown by denying write privileges with the business reps group previously. Apply other permissions such as browsing privileges as determined by your project needs. The optional security policy plugin is also a significant addition to CapServer EX version 512 and allows a more granular level of security access to be applied to your project beyond the user manager settings. This new plugin is accessed through the security policies tab here in the server administration. It can further restrict permissions based on the user groups created in the user manager, such as for the business reps and field engineers groups created previously. It allows server administrators to configure role-based security rules that define read, write, and browse access permissions of server items down to the tag level. Note that here I can set tag 2 and channel 1 device 1 to no access for anonymous OPC DA clients. If I apply the security settings 
and open Kepler's OBCDA Quick Client, I see now that only Tag 1 from this device is available. If I toggle back the settings and clear custom permissions for I.O. tags, the client is given full access and Tag 2 appears again. For more information on these new security options, please refer to Leveraging KepServer EX's Security Policies plugin written by Kepler CEO Tony Payne. To get started with OPC UA, follow Kepler's guide for OPC UA client and server connections made easy. That concludes the feature tour for the new release of KepServer EX v512. Thank you for your time and interest. Please contact our sales or support teams for additional information. Visit Kepler.com to download a free, fully functional, two-hour product demo.